Casey Hudson here. It's a new week and I've got a new video for you. Not much to report on the car. I've got a list of excuses a mile long, but at the end of the day, they're just excuses. So let's, uh, let's not go there. Anyway, I, I did get a little bit done. This little bracket right here is the door sill reinforcement bracket. It keeps your door sill from flopping around. Um, you know, these cars were fairly tall in the 30s. And so you'd step up onto that door sill and you don't want it to flex and move. Um, so you got this little bracket right here. Obviously with the Clecos in place, the door sill bracket isn't gonna slide all the way into place, but that's what it looks like. Nice uh, bead rolled piece with the stamped Ford logo. And then more importantly, what it does is it continues the body line on the car from the cowl to the quarter panel. And again, this isn't sitting how it should fit. So, so don't judge my fit up yet on that. I still got some work to do. But this stupid little bracket was a pain in the butt. Most notably, this bottom line right here, which is rolled, was about twice as wide as it is right now. That's not hard to roll a, uh, a rolled edge. And as it's already started to roll, it, to, to make that out of a flat piece would be hard, but to roll it further isn't that hard. But what I had to do is I had to put it in the vise and I had to roll it because otherwise the um, it, it pushed the whole piece up. <laughs> um, and that then didn't line up with the subrail behind it, which I have to drill through to install my Clecos. So that was kind of a pain. Got that part done. And then once it's done, I came back in and I rolled it a little bit further so that there's an air gap all the way across so that my sheet metal of my sill can slide underneath. So yeah, I got that done. But that's just not enough for a video. So I have another idea. Let me take you around back. I'm gonna show you the chassis that's gonna go underneath this Roadster. Um, it's far from finished, but it'll give you an idea of what I'm working with and how this thing's going to ultimately come out. So follow me out back. We'll take a look. All right. So here's what we're working with. I believe this is a 1931 frame. It's got a frame width rear step, uh, to lower the back a little bit. It's got a SoCal four inch drop axle sitting underneath it right now. I know a lot of people don't like the look of this axle um, with the tapered uh, tapered ends, but I think it looks pretty sharp. And the uh, the price of 32 axles has gotten so insane that that wasn't even an option. I've got some uh, 40, I think they're 46 uh, wishbones that I've split that I'm going to install on this, and then it's a uh, reverse eye super glide spring on the front. Um, front sits nice and low. It's got a decent little rake to it. Um, but I want the back to come down a little bit further. Sorry, there's not a whole lot of room to show you the whole thing here. Um, 40 Ford Steelys, trim rings, it's gonna run caps. Um, rear bones are split and bent. I believe that's an F1 steering box. The frame's all right, you know, it's got some some questionable work. I'm going to have to go over a lot of the welds. Um, uh, the brakes, I believe, are 48 Ford. They're the, uh, the juice brakes with the dimples on the drum. Got some Coker Firestone bias ply tires that are actually only a few years old, so they should hold up nice. Transmission mounts are uh, pretty sketchy. I'm gonna have to redo those. The K member is uh, also a little sketchy, but I think it'll work. Um, might not redo that. The pedals, I mean, my goodness. What were they thinking? Um, 
definitely going to have to just cut all of that off and start over. Um, the cow mounts are in the wrong place, so I got another set of those. Going to probably redo the uh, wishbone mounts at the same time. Um, because the uh, frame, when I got it, had a stock front axle underneath it. And it's going to sit quite a bit lower now, so those wishbone mounts on the frame um, need to get tucked up a little tighter. The open drive banjo was a nice score, though. Um, either it's been converted or that's like a late, like 48 or so, I believe. The tire sizes are 500 to 525.16 on the front. Nice and low profile. And then, I believe there's 700s. Yeah, 716 on the rear. Fortunately, these have been sitting outside for a while, so probably gonna have to redo my paint job on the wheels. There's the step. They did an okay job on the step. Um, I'm gonna box the back side of it though for sure. So in the rear, it's got a reverse high spring already, which is nice. But it looks like it has all of the leaves in the correct orientation. I know in the Tardell book it talks about taking a few of the leaves from the top, cutting them down and putting them underneath. Should lower it another couple of inches. I'd love to get like four more inches out of it in the rear. I don't know if that's feasible, but that would get the top of the tire right at the uh, top of the wheel well opening on the quarter panel. Supposedly that's a Roadster spring, um, but it's a standard eye. So I don't know if I'm going to gain anything by switching to that or not. Um, yeah, I've got a pretty trick steering wheel to go in this thing. You'll have to stay tuned to see what I do there. Anyway, and that's about it. I like the uh, headlight stands. They're kind of funky, but cool. Um, not wild about the welded in spreader bar. Haven't quite made up my mind yet what I'm gonna do there. Um, frame is boxed all the way back. Um, I'm probably gonna drill some increasing size holes on the inside of the frame rail um, and try to be strategic about where I put them so that I can get to the nuts on the body mount holes since I'm using all the stock body mount locations. And that's it. So the plan is to drag this thing out of here. And then uh, get it all cleaned up, repainted, fix some of the welds, and then get the body sitting back on top. Could definitely come down two to three inches. I think that would totally work. Anyway. So I hope you all like that little video walk around of the chassis that I'm gonna use. Um, that chassis, believe it or not, was on a running and driving car <laughs> with all that sketchy work. Um, so I had a coupe, a 28 coupe um, that I bought really cheap from a guy that he, it was more of an art car than a hot rod. Uh, he called it a rat rod. Uh, it had all kinds of tchotchkes hot glued to it. It was it was atrocious. I'll put a picture up in the video. Um, the body was cool. I actually sold the body to a buddy of mine who's turned it into a really cool um, LS-based uh, hot rod and and you know a little more modern than I like to do, but it's got a really killer stance and it's gonna be mean. It's gonna have some serious power. Uh, Rocket Joe 88, I think, is his handle on Instagram. So check him out. So so yeah, he had the body. I kept the chassis. The flathead V8 that was in it, it had 14 cracks in the block. <laughs> And that's uh, 
I started to rebuild it. I used the crankshaft and the connecting rods out of that motor, and I used the oil pan, the timing cover, uh, had a set of EAB heads on it that were in decent shape, so I used those. Um, I used the cam core and sent it off to Ron Iskandari, and I'll have to do a video on the on the engine rebuild. The, the flatty's gonna be pretty cool. First one I built, um, but I think it'll make good power. Anyway, so I, I recycled the flathead, well, the internals of the flathead, the three speed, and I don't know my early Ford transmissions worth a darn. I, I don't know which one it is, but it has a three speed transmission um, and then that chassis. So yeah, anyway, that's it for this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, hit that like button, comment, and let me know what you think, what you want to see, what I should do more of. And, and if, uh, if you can find it in your heart, please subscribe. The subscribers will tell me I'm doing a good job and, and it'll keep the videos coming. Um, so yeah, uh, Crazy Casey on the ham. That's where the build thread is. I'll put a link in the description of the video to that. Uh, Reverend Casey James on Instagram. Check that out. I've got all the pictures of this project under the Crazy Casey Roadster hashtag. Um, so that's it. See you guys next week. You can never have too many Model A's, especially the backyard car. The backyard car is a lot of fun. <laughs>